In this video, we will learn many ways to position indents on the sample we want to test. These methods can be used on single indents as well as more complex patterns. The easiest way to perform a quick single indent is to just click on the start button. An indent will be made in the center of this cross, right in the middle of the field of view. This only happens if the test pattern box is not flashing, which means that there aren't any active patterns. If the test pattern box is flashing, it means that an active pattern is available and therefore the indents included in the pattern will be executed. Before we continue, we must understand the difference between absolute and relative coordinate systems in the German software. The coordinates shown in the main screen indicate the absolute coordinate system, which is the position of the XY stage. The 0, 0 offset coordinate is reached when the stage moves all the way up to the right. To bring it back to the center, just click and hold the C button. The relative coordinate system is set from test pattern, all patterns, general properties. Here we define the center of the relative system, we click on set and we check the box enabled. The position of every indent or pattern in the relative coordinate system can be defined in two ways. We can simply drag an indent or a pattern by left-clicking and holding down shift, or we can insert the coordinates of any indent or pattern from start at position, relative start point. Now that we know the basics, let's have a look at 10 interesting methods to position patterns on the surface of a sample. Using overview and objective camera in sequence. Using both cameras in sequence will help us to position a pattern in a quick and effective way. For example, when working on a large welded sample, it is useful to first use the overview camera to roughly place the pattern and then fine-tune its position using the objective camera. In order to locate an indent anywhere, just double-click on any point in the test pattern and the stage will automatically move to the exact place where that point is located. Custom Points Module Just use left-click and control to freely distribute points over the surface of the sample. Use right-click and control to delete points. Select Edge function. If we go to Start at Position and then select Edge, we can position a pattern perpendicular to this red line. We can also set an automatic offset, so our pattern will be at a specific distance from the red line. Snap to Edge mode. We find this function in the section Start at Position. If it's enabled, the software will automatically detect the edge of the sample and we can then choose Orientation, Offset and Location of the pattern. Angle Orientation It is possible to rotate a pattern by dragging the control bar up and down or by simply typing a value in degrees. By double-clicking, the value will automatically be zero. Measuring tools We can use the measuring tools as construction lines. It is possible to measure the distance between points, the distance between parallel lines, and angles. Measuring lines can be used in both objective and overview camera. Normal line, single edge. We can use single edge mode if we want to position a line or a single indent at a specific distance from two edges. For example, a line at a distance from this edge and another distance from this other edge. Normal line frame. It is useful when a line pattern must be evenly distributed between two edges for example, in the center of a spray coating. Switch points. 
a line can be created with variable distances between indents. For example, we want a line with 5 indents at 1 mm distance, the next 5 indents at 3 mm distance, and 3 more indents at 5 mm distance. Modify custom pattern. A completely customized pattern can be created where X, Y and Z coordinates can be assigned for each indent. Points can be activated or deactivated. And hardness limits can be set for each point. Moreover, actions like remeasure or new test can be chosen for each indent. Also, the custom pattern function can be used to customize any of the standard patterns in order to, for example, delete or add points in a matrix.